uh, by enabling our student support advisors to understand how to utilize the 20 unique filters that are in Inspire for Advisors and uh, help them understand how to prioritize their time, uh, both with um, students who are doing really well and so by encouraging those students uh, because uh, actually 93% of our student population is in a high and very high uh, probability for uh, um, actually persisting into the next session. And so uh, it's helped them balance so that they're not just focused on students who we would have in the past talked about being at risk. It's really being able to see in uh, real time where students uh, need some, some encouragement or some help because they're either falling behind their peer group in their activity or their grades or exceeding. And we need to propel both groups of students. All of our advisors have a portfolio. So they have a portfolio of around 200 students. Um, however, uh, they're doing financial aid advising, academic advising, and student service advising all in one. And we see that as uh, powerful because it prevents us from having to shuffle uh, the student around to get answers. It's a, it's a place for a one-stop shop to be able to uh, receive all of their advising. Understanding what's important to students, we can help guide our advisors on how to prioritize. So of course they're using the uh, 20 unique filters and inspire for advisors and that gets a lot of their work done very efficiently. And so, uh, for example, we recently did an outreach uh, campaign around students who had 3.0 to 4.0 grade point averages uh, that were in the lowest quartile of persistence probability. Um, our advisors would not necessarily have identified that group of students. And so we were able to pull from them uh, how they would like to best communicate with that group of students. And so now they're doing a campaign of both email, phone, and text. And so just within the, a week and a half, uh, we believe we've seen a shift of 65% uh, of that population actually going back into high and very high. And so we'll see at census what the true uh, impact of that uh, campaign was. But that's, a, that's a, an example of how we use OLUM student information to drive some of the, the work that our advisors are doing uh, day by day.